What's up everybody? Welcome back to my kitchen where safety is number one priority and today I'm going to put to the test five more kitchen gadgets. I lost count what part it is but you'll see it in the title. Anyways, let's get to it. For this gadget I got here a very unique egg stain maker. Check this out. So we're going to use it like as instruction said and let's see how it does. Oops. First we gotta separate the egg yolk. One, two, and now I'm making a mess all off. Then you're gonna go up and down. I love this gadget. A while back I have put it to the test. A lot of you probably didn't see it. But anyways, that's the idea. Then you wanna put it inside here. I'll use a fork to mix it all up because the egg yolks is kind of quite easy to mix them up. Okay, I got my egg yolks and what are we going to do is let go and look at that. In the boil water, hot, hot water and because egg yolks are really, really, what do you call it, thick, it actually floats pretty quickly. Wow, this is beautiful, I can't believe it couple of things got clogged but I don't mind it wow okay and then I, you, I can close it and I have here ice water I, too bad I don't have the right scooper but this will do as you can see and put it in a uh, ice water I think it's so that way it does not mix together okay let's start again look at that this is just beautiful there you go. I think it's even better whenever we touch it, the hot water. And close it easily. Then, as you can see, it cooked all the way. We scoop it up. Very easy. Put it into the ice. And that way we have here stringy eggs or whatever you want to call it. I wish I had a strainer scoop, not this kind of scoop. It would be working out even easier. You just put it in the ice and take it out instantly and you have here a stringy egg and look it's sinking at first but then it's gonna float up okay look at that it's actually flowing pretty good now so cool this is pretty satisfying this egg would be perfect for Roman noodles and things like that look at that once it gets cooked it floating up and you have here again lots of lots of stainy eggs this is why gadgets are so cool to have as you can see because i don't have a right stainer scoop it does not work as well but it's still beautiful so yeah thumbs up for me for this gadget look at that beautiful i got a really nice flow now it's sinking once it's gonna float up that means it's done Oh yeah, I think this is going to be the best ones. Okay, let it cook a little. It's going to float up once it's done. And then you can scoop it up and check this out. Stainy egg. That actually worked out so good. Just make sure you do that with only yolks. With egg whites, it does not work that well. I don't know why you put it in the ice. Because if I don't, it actually looks even better. Maybe I can just... Cool it off for a minute and take it out. Look at that, stringy egg, pretty awesome. For the next gadget, if you need to wash a bunch of berries or things like that, check this out. This is a foldable strainer. What's so cool about it, usually strainers are big and bulky, takes up a lot of space. So this one's right here, clip in. Oh, let me take this off. You pop this open and it pops in, look at that. To fold it back up, all you have to do is push it in boom and then it floods it out into a little piece of paper almost and put it away into your storage in the kitchen boom so i can put it in here strain it clean it keep it in there and once i and once i'm done boom obviously it will stain well i don't have to demonstrate it for you but the best part about it how versatile and foldable it is and doesn't take up a lot of space and look how big it is at the same time. Amazing. For the next gadget, I got here garlic press without peeling the garlic. So you can press this garlic 
you see it's annoying to peel it and it's going to make your hands really stinky well guess what check this out all you have to do is stick it all the way the garlic without peeling it and look at that it looks good the only thing you'd have to pull out all this peel every single time boom peeled it good let's see comes off to wash it easily but also you can pull out all this peel but the minus about this gadget you will have to clean it every single time you put to one piece so let's put two pieces in here this time see how it goes whoa it's really working well pull it off take it off and then right here you can just push it off all that peel remove all that peel next one i like how easy it is to take it off and put a new one in so that way super easy to clean one more again unbelievable that you can press garlic without peeling it remove that and again let me show you close up just grab a fork or something and pull everything off i love how easy it is to clean it for sure another maybe two or three pieces let's do three smaller pieces really can handle it let's find out oh yeah it works really well take it off pull it off once again don't have to peel it just remove this could be a little bit annoying removing that but as you can see all the peel stays away and I have here three more pieces let's see can I do it without taking off the peel every time let's find out I guess it can be done wow I can't believe it yeah you know what now it's stuck I would clean it every single time you push it too so that way it can do much much better job and look how much garlic I have just pressed without peeling every single onion or garlic pretty awesome huh next gadget I have here another slicer let's see what this one does they make so many different slicers it's crazy it must be super sellable and popular whoa check this out what's happening here such a unique style every blade is sideways and uh, it's kind of serrated yep and uh, wow this is huge okay there's little instructions okay they're saying you can remove this to pull off all the pieces like onions things get stuck so we will slice an onion and the lemon just like they advertise it looks like we will have to cut it in half first okay let's do this okay just like in a picture we put the onion like this and we slice it wow check this out looks like alice want to be in a video too but this is beautiful sliced up so well and then we can pop them out i ah, making me cry i should be chewing a gum or something but yeah amazing how cool is that this is so beautiful look at that onion okay one more time oh this onion is in stone okay i'm gonna slice it again boom wow look at that really really skinny nice rings beautiful for the borscht soup whatever i love it wow this is one of a kind slicer for sure if you need onion rings like that easy and i'm pretty sure once you have all that onion pieces got stuck in there you can pull it up and as you can see it will take off all the onion beautiful okay let's do a lemon next looks like just like in a picture we're gonna cut it like that and in half boom okay and looks like we gotta put it this way i guess so that way it does not get squished oh no wow look at that actually did pretty good okay let me try this again look at all these seeds inside there you can just pull them out and take everything out beautiful let me tie it this way see if it's actually going to work a bit better 
No, it's not going to. I see why they did it this way, because it's going to get smooshed. Okay, one more time. Yeah, this one is getting squished a tiny little bit, but I love how skinny that is. You see, it gets squished a little bit, but still, pretty awesome. Look at the slices. You know what? I'm going to try to do it without cutting it into pieces. Let's just go like that, see what happens. You know what? It's almost better to slice it without cutting it in half. Look at the slices that you got. Pretty amazing. It's very, very sharp. I like it a lot. I think this is high quality, works really well, and I like this right here to pull it up to clean off all the pieces if they ever get stuck. And now all I have to do is take it apart, put it into dishwasher. And for the next gadget, I got here gas sandwich toaster. I have a gas. On the electric stove, it probably won't work that well. So let's open it up and let's make a grilled cheese sandwich. Whoa, looks like it does not cut it out. So that's okay. I have a gadget that actually seals it all the way. So that's a bit better. But nevertheless, let's go up some cheese. I'm gonna put this kind of cheese because that's all I have today. Okay, we're gonna turn it on and put it over the gas stove and now we wait. Okay, let's flip it over. Hopefully we did not burn them. And then open this. Oh no, I burned this side. Oh well, let's wait a little bit longer, see how the other side is doing. So you wanna do only one minute, one minute, and it'll be done. Okay, and let's flip it over. Okay, this side is much better. Definitely toasting it really, really fast. But you know what, I was hoping it would seal up the edges. In particularly this one, a while back I put to the test, got lots of use, I still use it. It seals up the bread, so you remove all these ends on, on top of it. But still, look at that cheese spread. Ooh, this looks delicious. One more right here. Yeah, for sure it works really well. Well guys, that's pretty much it. Let me know in comments below which gadget was your favorite. Don't forget to thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you next time.